Prosecutors say freelance photographer Teresa Hallbuck met with Stephen Avery at his salvage yard near Manitowoc. Several days later, Teresa's family reports her missing. And the search begins where Teresa was last seen, the Avery salvage yard. She's a good person. We'd all like some answers and I'm sure they'll I'm sure they'll come in due time. We have uh, removed sections of concrete from the garage on the Stephen Avery property. We are also uh, removing uh, items from Stephen's bedroom, from the hallway, from closets, and from other areas within Stephen's house. Breaking news tonight in the Stephen Avery cases. Police arrest a 16-year-old relative of Stephen Avery after they say he admitted he and Stephen Avery killed Teresa Hallbach. It's our top story on Action 2 News at 10. Investigators later uncovered Hallbach's charred remains, and Stephen Avery was charged with her murder. Then Monday, his nephew went to police and eventually confessed to being involved. Now, for the first time, we know what police think happened during the last few hours of Teresa's life. I was <coughs> heartbroken last night to bear the responsibility with Sheriff Poggle to meet with the Hallbach family and to share with the Hallbachs fate of Teresa. If you knew Ms. Halbach before she was killed, it's our suggestion, both the sheriff and myself, that you not listen to this press conference. The evidence that we've uncovered establishes that Stephen Avery at this point invites his 16-year-old nephew to sexually assault this woman and he's had bound to the bed. Well, Bill, Mike Paulbach says this has been a tough two days for his entire family. He says when the sheriff showed up to tell them about this teen's alleged involvement in his sister's death, his mother broke into tears. Uh, my, my mom started crying. She, you know, she says, she, she, I mean, she knows, you know, that my, my, you know, her daughter's no longer here. But just to hear someone say that, every, every time someone says that, it, it hurts her deep inside. I'm also authorized by the family to um, extend their request uh, that the uh, trial date be um, finished as soon as this court uh, is able to uh, um, realistically schedule that. I'm only going to present those pieces of evidence that are necessary. Those pieces that are necessary to tell you the entire story. My job is not to present uh, gruesome or overly graphic information for you. But Teresa was actually killed on your dad's birthday. Yeah. After the 31st of October, Mrs. Hallbach, um, did, did you ever hear your daughter Teresa's voice again? No, I did not. Was Teresa the kind of girl that would have taken off or would have left or would have um, vanished without talking to you or talking to her family? No, she would not. Teresa was very close to both her sisters. Um, you know, they spent a lot of time laughing, picking on each other. Uh, it kind of became tradition. She, Teresa would come over Sunday after Sunday night and their three favorite TV shows were on that night and they'd watch it together and laugh and have a good time. And The physical evidence, no matter how disturbing it's been to you. Have you been and your family been kept informed throughout this investigation uh, of all of the developments, do you feel? Yes, Your we Honor, This is needlessly difficult, and it's the case is not about Mr. Kratz. The court agrees. Special Prosecutor Ken Kratz defended his asking that question, saying jurors had a right to know that he had kept the family informed. I hope as we sit here today and as this case proceeds, those individuals that knew Teresa will remember this extraordinary young woman and the joy that she brought to all of those around her. My behavior was inappropriate. I'm embarrassed and ashamed for the choices that I made and the fault was mine alone. This is about my behavior and not anybody else's behavior. I want to see a speedy 
investigation move forward and one that has some teeth in it. A lot of people in Calumet County have been waiting for some sort of explanation. All I can say is that their, their process is puzzling in this case and, uh, and uh, so I'm pu both puzzled by their process and I'm puzzled by the result of their process. Not only is he picking on women, but he's picking on women in vulnerable positions. He should resign. Some had firm opinions, others questions. Is this the first time? Just because we know about it or has this happened before? Many were surprised.